and welcome. My name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at toggling the ad selection mode on and off by using the keyboard shortcut Shift F8. So with that, let's get started. Here we have Excel. And in our previous video, we looked at the idea of deselecting certain things. We had a selection and we could deselect that by pressing Shift Backspace. Now, we also discussed earlier in this video series the idea of using shift click to have a selection like that, or we could use the control click combination in order to select these individual cells. Now, there is a keyboard shortcut that can facilitate selecting things very easily. So in our previous video, we wanted to select these cells as well as year four, but not year three. So the way that we did that was by selecting these two and then manually clicking one at a time these cells. And thus we are able to select year one, year two, year four, and the corresponding data for those without having to select year three. Now there's an easier way to do this. So you can select the year one and two, and then you can use the keyboard shortcut Shift F8. Now look down here on my screen. When I press Shift F8, you'll see this little icon that says add to selection. This will allow you to then individually select what cell or cells you want to add to your selection, such as we could select these and these and these. And then when we're done with our selection, we would go ahead and press Shift F8 a second time, and these would now be selected cells. So let's again look at an example where we want to just select these and year four, rather than come here and individually click which can be kind of frustrating if you have a large amount of data. You can instead select these, press Shift F8, and then use your mouse and drag down and select those. Because we have now selected all the cells that we desire to select for this instance, we would press Shift F8 to deactivate that. And then we could make our changes. So maybe we, again, want to put them in red text. Another example would be, say that we have a large data series or a couple of tables and we want to make the the numbers in each of these individual tables red, or maybe we want to make them blue. One way to do that would be to individually select those, turn them blue, individually select them, turn them blue, individually select them, and turn them blue. In this case, it's not so painful to do that, but a way that I would propose doing it would be to select your first set of items that you want to select, then press Shift F8. You would create the add selection icon here. Then you would select the second set of numbers that you want to add and the third set of numbers that you want to add. You'd make your change globally. And then once you've made your change, it will automatically default back to the regular selection mode. So again, this is a really cool keyboard shortcut, which will allow you to add selection to your current selection very, very quickly. The way that we would go about doing this would be to make our first selection, then press Shift F8. It would create the add selection choice here on Excel. We would make our second selection and perhaps even our third selection. Then we could say, make all of those bold. And once we make a change to that selection, the add selection item would be gone. So again, we looked in this video at the idea of Shift F8, which will allow us to create the add selection mode within Excel. We can add Shift F8 and it would turn on. Shift F8 a second time would turn it off. With that, in our next video, we're going to look at how to move right and between individual non-adjacent selections by using the control key and the right arrow. So check that out in our next video. Thanks for watching.